Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Mahasham, Yahweh Shai, Mahasham, Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence and double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach this truth well. Okay, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. The apostles, John, Peter, and many of the apostles, they done many, 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 many miracles because you got this madness out here about they were not working miracles miracles are being done continually even us knowing this truth that's a miracle in itself okay ezekiel 37 the valley of what's it not the valley of the dry bones though yeah the valley of the dry bones that's a miracle in itself okay so i want to go to acts 5 and where should we start Start at. Give me just a minute. Because there's a lot of meat. There's a lot of meat here. Let's start at 12. This is Acts 5 and 12. And by the hands of the apostles, which apostles mean sent out, were many signs and wonders wrought. And wrought means what worked. So there was many signs and many wonders being worked among the people and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch and other with one mind and of the rest of no man joined himself to them but the people magnified them okay and the believers were more added so you had those that were magnifying who Paul and Peter and the apostles and the believers were more added to the Lord multitudes both men and women so the believers were increasing, they were growing, they're being added to the church. In so much that they brought the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at the least of the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. So the spirit was so heavy on Peter, even the people that were sick were hoping that Peter would walk past him. And when he was walking past these individuals that were sick, he was healing them. Just by his shadow alone. So that shows you he must have had a hell of an aura. Okay. They came also of a multitude of the cities round about Jerusalem. Bringing sick folks. And them which were vexed with unclean spirits. And they were healed every one. And li listen to this. Baba Kasha, verse 17. Then the high priest rose up. They then priest again. And all they that were with him, which were the sect of the Sadducees. Remember, you had different sects. You had the Sadducees, you had the Pharisees, and you had the Zealots. Okay? And were filled with indignation, wrath. And they laid their hands on the apostles. And this is all, it's all jealousy. And put them in a common prison. So they locked them up for that. Okay? But who were these miracles being done by? Bear me just a minute. Quickly going to go to Acts 3 as well. Acts 3 and... Give me just a minute. Because were they doing that miracle by their own accord? No. They were doing this miracle by Yahweh Shai. Okay. Same in Acts 3. It tells you about the man that Peter and John healed. That man that was lame. Okay. And that man that was begging alms. Okay. Which is the same man, his ankles and his bones were messed up. Okay, and his feet, he was lame. And he healed that man. So I quickly want to go to Acts 3, as well, of another account. This is Acts chapter 3. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple, into the hour, at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gates of the temple. Okay. Which is called beautiful to ask of alms of them to enter into the temple. So he had this individual begging for money. 
we see seeing Peter and John about going to the temple arse of alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. Okay. <laughs> Look on us. Okay. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Okay. In other words, look at me. Look at us. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have give I such as I have give I thee. Which was what the words? In the name. Key thing the name. And you got bugged out individuals saying the name doesn't matter. Yes, it does. I have I have give Salakia, but such I have give I thee in the name of Mashiach, which is the word of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Okay? Authority. To say that it takes authority. Rise up and walk. So that's a command. They had power in the spirit. And who was that power given by? Yahawashai. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankles received strength. And he leaping up stood walked can you imagine so he leaped up this man's ankles are all messed up his feet and all of a sudden he leaped up and walked like nothing was wrong and entered them in, and and entered with them in the temple walking and leaping and praising the most high and all the people saw him walking and praising the most high okay and they knew it that it was he that sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple because people recognized him he was always there begging and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them into a porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? And why look so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we made this man to walk? That's humility again. Because remember, it was in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay? It was in the name of Yahweh Shai. That he done these things. Let's quickly go to John. And why were they able to do these things? Because they were given authority through the Spirit to do these things. Okay? Let's quickly go to John 1 and jump straight to... 11 he came he came unto his own he's speaking of Yahweh and his own received him not and that's just how it is okay it's the same for certain brothers in the truth you come into your own your own neighborhoods your own receive you not okay because they have this um image of you in their own heads i grew up with him i was kicking ball with him so they see you that way and that's why the scripture says a prophet is without honor in his own town it's not without honour in his own town and in his own what house. Okay. Verse 12. But as many as received him. Okay. As many as received him. To them gave he power. To become the sons of the Most High. So to receive Yahweh That means what you've been given that power. Through faith. You're receiving Yahweh Shai. You're receiving the Heavenly Father. A lot of our people. They don't want to receive Yahweh Shai, but they say the Most High. So if you're not receiving Yahweh Shai, you're not receiving the Most High, therefore you're not going to be given that power as the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. So, first, those that were healed, it's because they believed. And also, those that were doing the healing, Peter and Paul, it was through the Spirit and it was through the name. I quickly want to go back to Acts. Hope this is edifying. So, we're going to go back to Acts and. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Acts 3, and we're going to jump straight to 13. And the power of Abraham and of, and of Isaac have glorified his son, Yahweh Shai, who he delivered up and denied him. Okay? And this was speaking of the wicked Jews that were marveling, okay, at these miracles, that were seeing these things in the presence of Pilate. So our own people done this. Our own people done this. That's why we talk about our people. You, we want the redemption of Israel and this and that. But you got to realize our, our own people. This is what they done to you, Yahweh Shai. And yes, you have men. You have men in great mills on that that done this. But they don't. They don't want to. They're so proud. They can't admit it. 
If you were one of them men, you repent. But if men are so pr pride, they're going to hide behind ego. They're going to hide behind other men. You are them elders that persecuted Yahweh Shai. And when he was determined to let him go, but he denied the Holy One. Okay? So you delivered him up. And Pilate said, look, I found no, I find, I find no fault in this man. Our people are wicked. But he denied the Holy One. So our people, they stay denying the prophets, the men of the Lord, who Yahweh Shai has sent. And just and the just and desire the murderer to be granted unto you. What does that say about our people? What does that say about our people? They desire the murderer to be granted unto you and kill the prince of life who the most have raised from the dead. Well, we are witnesses because they were there. The apostles were there. And his name through faith and his name have made this man strong. So it's through faith in his name have made this man strong the man that was healed the man that was lame whom you see and know because they knew this man because he was always, always what sat sitting outside of the temple asking for money so it could not be ignored here it is this man was always lame on the feet always begging and all of a sudden his feet was made good and he's leaping that had, that had an effect on people yeah, the faith which is by him have given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. It says, yeah, the faith which is by him. Through that belief. And now, brethren, I what? And guess what? It didn't mention. It didn't mention any law. It didn't mention any law. It didn't mention any law. And this is why the those those Pharisees, a lot of them, are getting offended. Because he wasn't healing by the law. He was healing by faith. So that really messed them up. And their righteousness was what the law, which the law is the law is righteous. You can't you can't knock the law, but Yahweh is righteous, the ultimate righteousness, and He is our faith. Okay. And He was made sound. And now, brethren, I want that through ignorance you did it as it did also your rulers. In other words, gave up Yahweh Shai. by those things which the Most High before has showed by the mouth of His prophets, because it was prophecy that they would do that as well. That Yahusha would be delivered up. That Mashiach should suffer. He have so fulfilled. It was all prophecy. Repent ye therefore. So there's repentance for those that were doing that. But men are so pride, prideful. When men think of Pharisees. They think of IUIC. No some of them wicked Pharisees. Are up in Great Millstone. It's, it's called not being partial. But a lot of men are partial. A lot of men they don't want to repent. For what they've done to the men of the Lord. And they're doing the same thing today. And that's why what Peter was saying, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, when Yahweh comes on the scene, and that's when there's going to be what that refreshing. Okay, and he shall send Yahweh Shemashat, which before was preached unto you. Okay, it's all about repentance. We all need to repent for something. Okay, but these were the beautiful miracles that were being done, and there's going to be many more miracles. So these individuals saying, they don't believe in miracles then they're crazy because the scriptures all throughout the scriptures is nothing but miracles from the old testament unto the new in the volume of the whole book it's nothing but miracles every time he went off Yahweh would send what a prophet or someone to deliver us that's a miracle as well so the scriptures deal with miracles so with this lesson i hope this was edifying and until the next time shalom